guys, Sith Lord Slinger Reviews, back with a uh, 212th uh, clone uh, comparison now. So today we'll be looking at the three comparisons from the 2013 212 to the 2022 212. Um, and we'll be using the comparison thing I did in the previous one again. And let's get in, into it. Let's first take a look at each one. So the first one here is the 2013 style one. Um, just came out with the like printing and stuff, and then uh, had the 20 uh, had the Clone Wars style look to it, back printing and everything. Clone head. Um, the only problem with this one back in the day was it was yellow, not orange. But to be fair, if you watch the Umbaric arc, they did look yellow in that arc. But the correct color for the 212 is orange. So let's move on to the 2014 clone, my personal favorite one. So this one is when the 212th got a lot better. And the printing even added some battle damage, which was really nice to have. Still no toe printing, of course, but um, came with the correct colors this time, orange, and it was a realistic style with the realistic head, back printing and everything. So this one is my personal favorite, but yeah, so that's that one, and we'll take a quick look at the 2022 version. So then after eight years, they finally came out with another 212th. And boy, do they go bad on the head printing. Oh, well. On the helmet printing. But, yeah, they updated the face. More of the correct color, nougat color. They also updated the helmet. The fin is bad and bowed out. And the helmet holes. But other than that, they kept the battle damage, which I really do like. Then they added a little bit of hip printing right there. Also added toe printing. And they fully filled out the knee pads then you have it back printing but yeah so that's the uh 2022 so now we'll look at the comparison of them all right so starting off the quality again so not including the helmets but just going from torsos and legs and arms not really including the arms so really just torsos and legs i would say that the printing wise because this is really cool looking, but this is better looking, and I think, personally, even the design's better on this one, I think personally the printing just looks the best on the 2014. I think the 2014 takes this one on the printing. Legs, and, well the legs, eh, they could win on the 2013, but I just like how the orange is more shown out and then smaller over here. So I think, and then this one is just yellow, so that's all wrong, plus the print's small on it. So yeah, I think the 2014 is going to get the three points. Now, which one's going to get the next best? I think these two are basically the same on print-wise, but because this one's orange and this one's yellow, should be orange, this one's going to take the two points. And that gives this one just one. So two points to the 2022. And one point to the 2013. Next, we'll look at price-wise. So now, because no one wants this clone, this is actually not too high-priced. I haven't looked at it recently, but I think you could get this for like... Mm, 20 bucks at the most, I think. So it's still pricey. But this one isn't much less than it. But this one's more common. You can get a lot more of these. Um... And this one, of course, is the cheapest, but with the helmet holes. So price-wise, this one's obviously the winner. It's easy. It's really easy to get many of these for a cheap price. This one would be the second best, because it's just a little bit cheaper than this one. This one's the worst to get the price-wise. Let's see. Yeah. You can get that one and two being the best. Yeah, there you go. That one's the worst on price, too. <laughs> Alright. Now we'll give it 
the head looks. Look at all three of the heads underneath. So this time we got a good uh, range of the heads. So we got the, like I said, I don't mind this head, but to be fair, it's the worst one out of it. So we'll go on and give that one uh, one point for the head looks. And then, uh, it's kind of hard to choose between these two. But I think because this one doesn't have an angry face all the time, you can use it more and has the correct flush color. I believe this one's going to get the three points for the head looks. And two points for the 2014. Now we're going to look at the helmets. So, you all know this one's, of course, going to go to one point again. Although, this one is the best looking, but it's got that print da damage on it. And this one's also got that print damage. So, I think if this one just had orange there, if it just was orange, this would be the winner on the he helmets. It would definitely be the winner. But because it's yellow, it puts it right below this one. So, this one's going to be number going to get three points for the 2014 and because this one has that bowed out part and the helmet holes unfortunately this one's only going to get well compared to the old one mm, actually because of the bowed out part and the helmet holes this one's only going to get one point on the helmets and this one even though it's yellow but it's got a way better print and everything. Just because it's yellow, it, it just goes less below this one. But if it was orange, it would go above the 2014. This one's going to get two points. And now we'll look at the army build potential of all three. So, this one is obviously the loser. It's the most priciest. It's even hard to get. You can't find really many in bulk or anything like that. So that one's obviously going to get one point for army building. Now, between these two, this one you can get multiples of. This one you can too. I think you can get more bulk of this one, though, than this one. But this one you can get somewhat bulk too. Um, and it has gone down in price because of this one now. So, like, the average price you're going to spend for this is 15 bucks at most. The average price you're going to spend for this is about... Um, on Berkwink, it's a lot cheaper, but... If you put it between Brickling and eBay, say about ten bucks. Yeah, you'll spend about ten bucks. So obviously I think the arm building is gonna to go to that one for three points. Two points for the 2014. So that will be that there. And uh yeah, so now it's just my personal opinion which one I think would be the best. Y'all know this one's going to get three points, of course, because they really do like it. And now, it's kind of a mix between these two. Because this one's cool. It's got way better design than this one, plus not the helmet holes or the bowed out thin part. But it's yellow. But then this one is starting to really grow on me too. I'm sorry, even though this one has got better army building potential and everything, just because this one's better print and everything, I'm going to have to give the two points to the 2013. And one point to the 2022. So let me tally these up and we'll see who the winner is. It was a close one. But this one's the winner at a total of 15 points right there. So that one's the winner. And by far, I think, is the best clone. This one I would really get. This one's my favorite, and I think it's the best. So then next in place was the 2022 at... 13 points. Um, even though it's got a really design and everything, great design, it's definitely cheaper and you can get it easier than compared to the 2014. 2014 is still the best in my opinion. And then of course, to no one's surprise, this one's the loser. Even though it doesn't have battle damage, so you can actually 
get you can make better scenes with them if you're doing like stop motion or whatever but to be fair most times clones do have battle damage so that does kind of equal out on those but it's nice to have ones without battle damage if this was orange like i said if this was orange it'd be a lot better but of course this one is a loser at eight points so yeah that was the comparison between these three i hope you guys enjoyed it please like comment subscribe and share on this video and uh I'll see you guys in the next comparison or clone haul. I've got nine more clones, so just uh, stay tuned for that. We'll have another clone haul coming up soon. All right, bye.